Well, the planned cancellation of DACA forces LA City leaders into a war of words with President Trump. The LA City Council is now taking steps to declare LA a city of sanctuary. But what exactly does the term mean? Gil Reyes reports on how the designation could affect us. A shakeup in immigration policy has fueled protests in downtown and also appears to be forcing LA City leaders to declare what they've avoided saying for years, that LA is a city of sanctuary for law-abiding undocumented immigrants. This statement is important for the 800,000 participants in DACA, for their families and for the entire immigrant community. Councilmember Gil Cedillo and Council President Herb Wesson pushing for a city of sanctuary resolution. It's in response to President Trump's decision to phase out DACA, or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. For the past five years, DACA has protected undocumented immigrants who arrived in the U.S. as children from deportation. These kids, many of whom have since grown up, are collectively known as dreamers. With the deportation of these dreamers now a possibility, the LA City Council is playing the role of protector, attempting to pass a sanctuary city resolution, basically admitting that they will limit their cooperation with the federal government in terms of immigration enforcement. Now the problem with the term sanctuary city, and the mayor will even agree to this, is that it varies from city to city. That's why LA City Council members are working on concrete rules to determine how exactly this will apply to Los Angeles. The city's legal experts recommend making LA an arrest-free zone for dreamers. That includes providing them documents on the rights that they could present to federal agents should they show up at the door. Also, providing funding for legal help for undocumented immigrants who are detained Cost of these services not determined yet. The city has also pledged to not use resources like LAPD to help the president enforce immigration policy. President Trump has threatened to strip federal funding from cities that don't help him. He gets up and he makes these claims. There is nothing that would put the city of LA at risk by us saying we are city of sanctuary. So we've said that, so now, Mr. President, what are you going to do? City Council President Herb Wesson acknowledges he could be baiting the Trump administration into a legal battle, a fight that Wesson says the city and California would win, given states' rights under the Constitution. I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. A city resolution for sanctuary status could take weeks to complete. An ordinance with specific laws could take months.